Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Pitcher. And I'm Lunchbox. And on this episode, Turbo Dog. That's right. Not just a great name, it's actually a great beer. You know, this is probably the very first beer that I ever actually enjoyed, that I liked. Um, they sold it at a local pub, and back then it was only on tap. And I yeah, swear yeah. it was stronger on tap. <laughs> you know, I want to kind of agree with you a little bit. Now, this is 5.6. But it seemed like it was stronger back then. Yeah, I'm thinking it was a lot stronger. It got on my head pretty quick, and I think that's why I drank it. I don't know if we were just younger or if it might have been a little different. But uh, we gave it a shot because it was something different at the time, and it had a cool name. Turbo Dog. And as we've said before in a lot of the videos, a lot of times what you like about a beer also happens to be what was going on at the time. And because this was such... A great beer in so many of those great memories, I still drink this beer. Now, that being said, yeah, I'm probably a little biased on Turbo Dog, but the shit tastes good. You know, I haven't had that much of it since then. I've seen it in the bottle once or twice, oh. and like I said, it seemed like it wasn't quite as strong in the bottle. So, admittedly, admittedly I have not had probably two or three in the past 20 years. Out of the out of the bottle, so this this will be a good a little experiment All for right. me. Now, Turbo Dogs from Abita, and that's from Abita Springs, Louisiana. Louisiana. Uh, um, and they have lots of really neat beers. If uh, you haven't been down the Abita Alley, um, there's lots of don't they make Purple Haze? Yeah, yeah. There's lots of good beers that they make. Uh, and that's one of their beer. highest rated beers. That's actually one of my least favorite. Really. I just, I think, it, I mean, it, it's good. It's just they have so many other beers that I just love. I think that's, there's all, there's two rows of those at the store of the Purple Haze as well. Oh, yeah. I remember the name. Dude, Purple, Purple Haze. Oh, crack his yeah. baby open. Purple Haze sells like crazy. This is a brown uh, ale. Yeah. Okay. Now, that's the style. Uh, it's a little darker than what you're thinking for a brown. So let's have that slow motion close up pour. Now, there's a really funny story about the color of this beer. And uh, Steve, if you want to let him know about the story. <laughs> I think we were playing pool one night. And, yes. um, you know, this was the local hangout. And this girl, this giggly little girl, was doing uh, some, I think they were doing some shots or something at their table. Yes. And she did her little shot of whatever, and she reaches over and grabs Beer Adventurer's beer and takes a big swig out of it. And coughed and choked and was like what the f is this and we look at her and say turbo dog she said she thought it was dr pepper yeah <laughs> no honey you can see through dr pepper <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't see through that stuff hardly and that's a thin glass you yeah. still can't see through it out of a pint glass yeah no light goes through turbo dog now I know somebody's going to mm. say, oh, that's not the correct glass. Well, it's, this is so you can see what color it is and see that. It smells that. malty. Oh, it is. I'm going to read this thing on the back here. It says, inside every dog, there's a turbo dog ready to break free. This very good dog has a rich, dark color and body with a sweet chocolate toffee-like flavor. Turbo dog is powered by pale, caramel, and chocolate malts and a Willie Met hops for runaway good times. Okay, now the first thing on a beer like this, there's no real like heavy hop note afterwards. Look at that place. I know. Um, <laughs> you're gonna get more of the, the like toasted, the roasty notes, the caramel, the chocolate, the coffee. Yes. Uh, this has all the brown notes that um, that are in beer. The darker, not the brown note from South Park. <laughs> and poop. No, but it, but it has the things that are more the toasted stuff, the the more nuttier stuff, um, the chocolate. Um, it's very rich, and I don't. But it's super easy it's, to drink. It's it's kind of robust without being bold. Yeah, because it doesn't just take over your mouth. But there's so much going on there. And it is a very rich flavor. The thing that I like most about Turbo Dog is the fact that it's very rich and it's still clean. Yeah, it 
it seem, it smells really malty. And then, but when you drink it, it doesn't coat your tongue like most malty right. beers do. It doesn't have that syrupy feel to no. it, mouth feel. <laughs> it's, it, it does its job and it leaves. Mm. It has been a long time. And it's a fantastic beer to pair with food because like some spicy things like, I don't know, like, Pastrami. Yeah. You, a lot of those Italian deli meats work yes. really good with this. Uh, smoked meats work good. Uh, cheeses are fantastic with something like this. Really? Uh, browns are actually better with cheese than people anticipate. People think the sweet beers are like perfect for the cheeses, but sometimes a nice brown. And I want to say... This is more in line of kind of like an English brown. Um, That's out of my league, I don't know. But it's good. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're from Louisiana, so you'd hope Cajun food's good with it. Like a gumbo is freaking sweet with this. Man, I could pound some shrimp to that. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's just like... Some crawfish, some crawdads. Yeah. It's got a really good flavor, but like he said, it doesn't overpower things. And it doesn't, like, stick around in your mouth. Like, you still have a nice, deep flavor, but it doesn't, like, just, it's not punching the face. It knows when to let go. Yes. <laughs> That's the magic of it. So, I think I did great with this. But this is this reminds me of of all those oh, yeah. all those nights spent o over the pool table losing money, uh, um, throwing darts, throwing darts, seeing what places open next. By the way, excellent beer from Burgers. Uh, I could see that. I was gonna say I would I would stick more to the red meats with it. Oh yeah, um, black and chicken though. Why not? It's 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 a good all around drinking beer. It's not too heavy, but it has nice rich. You know, you're talking about the pairings and and the, that like really rich, robust flavor. I'm talking about will measure up to just about anything you eat. But the fact that it doesn't linger and that it doesn't overpower, it's not going to overpower anything. It's not going to overshadow anything that you eat too. And I know what you're thinking. What next time we grill lamb? We need to drink this. Sure, why not? Yeah. Watch for that video. Yeah. We need to do some of those where it's just grilling and drinking. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we've uh, described it about as best as we can. Okay. Did you so, dig it? Did I dig it? Uh, yeah. I'm going to say. Would you have another? I will have another. Um, Would you seek it out? <laughs> I do seek this beer out. Because sometimes I have a hard time finding my area and so I have to go out of town. How many would you put in a big six? Um, <laughs> all of them. All six. <laughs> uh, uh, the only problem I have with Turbo Dog, I honestly wish they would do a big can. I don't know about a can, but I could go for a 40 of it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like the big cans, you know, the 24 ounce, the... A I size. really would like the 32. Bigger uh, size. So you hear that, Abita? Make yeah. us a bigger size. We want I would it love to have in quantity. I would love to be able to stop at the convenience store, buy a 32, go to the house, have that one big beer, With dinner. Two burgers. Yeah. <laughs> and then be, oh man, it'd be great. Um, and I've had some of the other, like the vanilla double dog. Oh my word. Hmm. It's a 10% do vanilla. That oh, yeah. We'll do that one. Yeah, I need to do that one. But And if you can think of any other Abita beers that we haven't done, yeah. list them or in the just comments. Something you'd like to see. So have you subscribed yet? You should. Oh, give it a number, man. Come on. We need a okay. number. We've always said that sometimes it really comes down to how much you like the beer. Beat is a nine all day long, every day. You know day. what? I'm, I'm going to say Turbo this. Dog, nine, nine, nine. To me, this 
this is an eight beer, but because of that, exactly, it that gives it the extra point for me. So that makes it a nine for me as well. And I think I've only given that to one other beer. Yeah. Um, that is, it, it, it's an amazing beer. It really is. And I'm kind of ashamed that I haven't been drinking more of it over the years. I just, I, I'm not the biggest beer drinker, so I passed it up. But I've had so much fun. Oh yeah, drinking I mean, these beers. It was. It's definitely embedded. In my 20s. <laughs> yeah, it really is. So. Well, there you go, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tag your friends. Share. Cheers. Cheers.